yeah uh, good morning friends so welcome to durga soft so in the last session we discussed what is cloud computing okay good evening what is cloud computing what are the advantages of the cloud computing what are different types of clouds are there there are four types of clouds are there public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud and the community cloud and uh, the cloud computing delivery models there are three types of uh, delivery models are there infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service right so those are the basic concepts in the last session we discussed right now in this session we are going to discuss how we had to create your aws account and first hands on session today we'll discuss how to launch and connect the windows server how to launch and connect the windows server before starting the session anyone have any questions anyone have any questions regarding training or the previous class before i'll start the session anyone have any queries regarding the previous class or regarding the training so in this training the 40 days of the training is there so every day you are getting the recording videos class notes whatever i explain for that each and every day you are getting the pdf and at the end of 40 days of the training then you are getting the interview questions and answers and aws dump 800 pages are there that is uh, how the questions are asked and how we give the answers the explanation 800 pages i am providing for associate level and the basic level and also at the end of 40 days of the training i am providing the screenshots for each and every topic right so if no questions no queries then i'll start the session okay okay now in this session we are going to discuss the two concepts one is how we had to create your aws account for that what are the steps we had to follow and uh, the next one is how we had to launch and connect windows server windows server so these two concepts we had to discuss first we'll see how we had to create your aws free tier account 12 months of the free tier account for that what are the steps we had to follow to open your aws account you need the three things are required one is your credit card or debit card second one is your mobile number bank linked mobile number it's a better and then your mail id these three things are required to open your aws retire account anyone either credit card or debit card some cards are not accepting rupee card is not accepting visa card will be accepted the private banks will be accepted right if you are using credit card no problem it is accepted debit card is some cards are accepted some cards are not accepting then your mobile number is required and your mail id will be required okay to explain that i had to explain with the help of the screenshots i had to explain how we had to open your aws retire account but this you need to use this portal to create your aws retire account i'll send the link in the chat box how we had to create your aws account this is the link you have to open this link and we had to enter your root user email address whatever your email id is there that email id we had to that email id we had to enter and then your aws account name whatever you, you are given that account name is required okay so that is uh, the first step is we had to use this link and we had to sign up for aws account 
So to sign up for AWS account, you need to enter your email address and the account name and your AWS account name. Okay. So the AWS account name must be in a queue. Must be in a queue. Right. And we can click on verify email address. That's why I'm highlighting the color here. You have to enter your email address and your AWS account name. And then we have to click on verify email address. Okay. Verify email address. And then the next step is whatever you are received, whatever you are entered the mail ID to your mail ID, you have received the OTP. One time password you have to receive to your mail ID. That one time password we have to enter here. That is the verification code we have to enter. And then click on verify option. Verify option is there, right? You have to click on verify option. After that, after that, the next step is we have to enter your password. That is uh, the five step process is there to create your AWS account. So in the five step process, the first step is create your password. For that, you need to enter your password for your AWS account. And we have to confirm the password. Again, we have to retype that password. That is the first step is we have to create your password. So total five steps are there. The first step is you have to create your password. First, we have to sign up it. That is you enter your mail ID and your AWS account. You can click on verify email address. Whatever you are given the email address, for that email address, you have received the OTP. That OTP here, you need to enter it. And then click on verify. After that, the five steps are there. The first step is you have to create your password to your AWS account. Whatever the password you are given, that password again we have to confirm it. Again, retype it. That is the first step out of the five step, create your password. Then the next one is to create your password. To create your AWS account password, you must follow these three things. So the four I am representing uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, non-alpha numeric characters. Out of these three, four, we have to contain at least your password, three of the combinations. Three of the combinations, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. Or you may combination of uppercase, lowercase, and alpha numeric characters. That is, the password must be at least eight characters length and contain at least three of the following things. Three of the following is uppercase letter, lowercase, numbers and alphanumeric. That is to give your AWS account password. And the next second step, second step is that is you have to enter your details, your personal details. That is, you have to give your full name. That is, the first it is asking whether you are open your AWS account for business or personal. You have to select the personal. Right? And then you have to enter your details. You have to give your name, phone number, country, and address. We have to give it city, state, and the postal code. And then put the tick mark here, checkbox is there, and then click on continue. That is the second step out of the five steps, you need to enter your personal details. That's you need to enter name, phone number, country, address, city, and the postal code. These things are we have to enter in the second step. Then the third step is, third step is you need to enter your card details. That is, uh, it is accepting Visa card, Master card, American card, and the credit card will be accepted. Rupee card is not accepting, right? You need to enter your card details and the expiration date and the year. And the card holder name also we have to enter. 
uh, in your card back side the ccv three digit number is there that three digit number we have to enter that three digit number we have to enter ccv right and then you can click on verify and continue verify and continue that is the third step is you need to enter your card details your credit card or the debit card details you need to enter it then the fourth step is fourth step is so after entering your credit card or the debit card details from your account two rupees will be detected for verification purpose whatever you are given the mobile number for that mobile number you receive one otp that otp you need to enter and then click on submit option right whenever you are entered your card details automatically the two rupees will be detected and for verification purpose again that two rupees will be credited to your account that is just for verification purpose and you receive one otp to your mobile number that otp you need to enter it and then click on submit option click on submit option okay and then after that the next step is the fourth step is you have to confirm your identity that is first one is after given your email address and the first email address you are given and the phone number you are given then the five step process will be done so the third step you are given the card details then the fourth step is confirm your identity that is you have to select text message or voice call you are given the mobile number you have to select the text message or the voice call you may select as your convenience i am given as a text message then you need to select country or region code you have to select you are there in india you have to select the india you have to enter the mobile number and whatever the security check is there that security we have to enter the characters and then click on send sms send sms okay that is the fourth step we have to complete that is you have to confirm your identity after completion of the fourth step that is uh, you are receive the verification code and then click on continue option that is the fourth step is confirm your identity next after completion of the fourth step you have to choose the basic plan basic support the free tier one we have to support it this is the free tier one if you are chosen developer option that is developer supports 29 dollars per month if you are chosen business 100 dollars per month right so you are for practicing purpose that's why you need to choose the basic support free tier account we have to choose it right that is the first option you need to choose it after that after that your all steps will be completed then you are getting the messages congratulations after completion of that within 24 hours your all aws services will be work it may take 5 hours or it may take 1 hour or it may take the 24 hours within 24 hours all your aws services will be work out right those are the steps we had to follow how we had to create your aws free tier account you are creating aws free tier account it is providing 12 months of the free service 12 months of the free service after 12 months of the free service you can unsubscribe it and you may use another mail id with same card and same mobile number it is extended up to the 12 12 months free tier account you can create with your other email account it is accepting the aws is accepting but azure is not accepting right so those are the steps we have to follow how we have to open your aws account at the end we have to give the personalized experience your role developer or you are interested in which area devops area something you can submit it then you are getting after completion of your aws account then you can use your email address and whatever you are entered the password that password we have to enter it then it is open the screen is like that it is open see that 
AWS login. I can click on this one. You have to enter your root user. I'll tell you what is the difference between the root user and IAM user in upcoming sessions. Now I am choosing the root user. Whatever I, I am given the mail address, that mail ID I am given and the password I am given. After completion of uh, your AWS account creation, this is uh, the appearance will be done. This is your AWS account. Here in this AWS account, those are recently visited services in my AWS account. That is, uh, in few days back, I am using those services, EC2, IAM, S3, RD, RDS, DynamoDB, Lambda service, SNS, CloudWatch, those services recently I am using. That's why it is showing like that. Recently visited services. See that? This is my AWS account. At the top, right side top corner, my name will be displayed. This is my AWS account ID. Right? And uh, here, if you click on this at the top right side, see if you click on this one, it is showing in my AWS account, there are different regions which are supported. See that North Virginia, California, Mumbai region, Oscar, Singapore, Cindy, right? Canada. So those many regions are supported. So in the, at the bottom, upcoming data centers, upcoming regions. Our Hyderabad is also there. It's in under progress. It's not highlighting. See that. See that. So you have to choose nearby your reason. We have to choose it. You are there in Singapore. You have to choose the Singapore reason also. You may choose in any reason. All the services will be workable. I am chosen in my place. Nearby reason I am chosen as the Mumbai reason I am choosing. Every time I am practicing the Mumbai reason. Right? You may choose the Singapore also. But whatever you are practicing the service, after completion of that, everything you have to delete it. That is uh, the reasons which are supported. In the last session, I explained that AWS Global Infrastructure. That's uh, in the last session, I am providing the link also. How many reasons are there? How many availability zones are there? The AWS, it has to cover their services throughout globally. Total 33 reasons are there. 105 availability zones are there. Upcoming 6 uh, uh, reasons are there. Right? That is, uh, if you type it here, AWS uh, global infrastructure, global infrastructure, see this one, this is. Already in the last session, I explained that the AWS, it is providing globally their services are providing. How it is providing globally their services? Through their data centers. That is throughout globally, 33 launched regions. 33 launched regions are there. Each region has to cover the countries. And 105 availability zones are there. See that. 105 availability zones within 33 geographic regions. With announced plans for 18 more availability zones and 6 more AWS regions in Malaysia, Mexico, right, and so on. So, this is a diagrammatically represented. Here, the green color already existed regions, already existed regions, this green color mark which are showing, these green color marks which are showing, right, which are showing these green color marks, and here, the red color marks are there. Here, this is our Hyderabad and this is the Mumbai region, right? Now, if you are choosing the red color marks, there are upcoming reasons, upcoming reasons. That is the six upcoming reasons are there. 18 more availability zones are there in upcoming, right? So, this is about uh, AWS uh, global infrastructure I am providing. Now, see that, see that, this is a recently visited services in my AWS account. In my AWS account, I am choosing the reason is Mumbai reason. I am choosing the reason is Mumbai reason. See what 
services they are providing in AWS. At the left side top, services option is there. You can click on services option. Those many services are providing. Analytics services providing, right? Blockchain service, compute services providing, containers, database. There are many more services which are providing, right? Now, now, so in our training, the first service you need to discuss the compute service. Compute service. Here in compute service, we had to choose the EC2. EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computing. Elastic Cloud Computing. C2 stands for Cloud Computing. Right? So the EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computing. Right? So here in services, we had to select compute option is there. Compute option is there. Click on this one. Here you need to choose EC2. EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computing. Elastic Cloud Computing. Right? Fine. Now, our first experiment is how to launch and connect the Windows Server. How to launch and connect the Windows Server. For that, what are the steps we have to follow? What are the steps we have to follow? Right? Here, the steps I am explaining with the help of the PDFs are there, but I am not using the PDF while explaining that. Right? I am providing those who are registered the this PDF every day you are getting. This PDF every day we are getting. Okay? Now, now, first, how to launch and connect the Windows Server? How to launch and connect the Windows Server? Right? This is uh, the steps I am providing. Right? What is EC2? EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computing. Elastic Cloud Computing. So, using the EC2, you have to launch the Linux Server. You have to launch the Windows Server. You launch the Red Hat Linux Server. You launch the some other servers, right? For that, how, what are the steps we have to follow? At the top, services option is there. Compute, we have to choose it. Here in compute, EC2, we have to select it. EC2, we have to select it. Okay? Fine. Now, here on left side, EC2 dashboard option is there. Click on this one. Then it is showing all the resources. How many instances are running instance is nothing but your virtual missions are running on the mumbai region data center how many instances are there zero key pair is there in the previous class i am creating no problem i am deleting this key pair also this key pair also again i am creating no problem wait okay and also one security group is there in the previous class i am created that also I can delete go for action delete security group okay now you check the EC2 dashboard at the left side is at the top EC2 dashboard is there EC2 dashboard is there now we observe that now we observe that how many instances are running zero how many instances are there? Zero. Key page? Zero. Volumes? Zero. One security group is there. That is the default security group. Fine. How we have to check the EC2 dashboard? So in services, EC2, we have to click on that. At the left side, EC2 dashboard is there. It is providing all the resources. Summary it is providing. How many instances are running? How many instances are there? You are using Elastic IP address, you are using the key page and security group, snapshots, volumes, all the resource details which are providing. Now, you are not using anyone. That's why the instances are zero. One security group is there. That is the default security group. Fine. Now, what we have to do to launch and connect the Windows Server? To launch and connect the Windows Server, to launch and connect the Windows Server, here at the left side, under EC2, are you observe? 
under EC2. Instances option is there. Instances option is there. In the Mumbai region, here in EC2, at the left side, instances option, we have to click on that. Here, is there any instances that are there? Any missions are there in Mumbai region data center? Any virtual missions are there? Virtual missions are there? No. There is no virtual missions are there. Now, you launch the instance. For that, you may click on this link. You may click on here or you may choose here also. Any one, we have to choose it. Any one option, we have to choose it to launch the instant. I am chosen launch the instant here. Click on this one. Then you have to give the instant name. I am given the instant name is Windows Server and given. Right? Because I am launching the instant, launch and connect the server, Windows Server. That's why the instant name I am given as Windows Server. Okay? Next. That is, you have to give the instant name. Then, the next step is, you need to choose the image. Image is nothing but the operating system image, we have to choose it. So, you are using AWS. This, we call it as a Amazon Mission Image. Means, we have to select which operating system you need to select. It. You are chosen Amazon Linux, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Windows, or Red Hat Linux, or SUSE Linux, see that, right? Or this one. That is, I am launch and connect the Windows Server. That's why, which operating system you need to select? Windows. Windows, see that. This option I am chosen. That is, the next step, you need to choose the operating system. I am chosen Windows. Windows, okay? Scroll down. Scroll down. Here, Amazon Mission Image. Arrow mark option is there. Arrow mark option is there. Click on this one. There are many it is showing. Here at the left side, retire eligible one are there. If you scroll down here, scroll down here, some of them are not mentioned the free tier. Retire eligible one. See that. Retire eligible one, some of them are not showing. Means they are the paid versions. They are the paid versions. See that. At the right side, pre-tire eligible one, it is not there. Right? Now, you are for practicing purpose. You have to choose the pre-tire eligible one. I am choosing this one. First option, I am choosing. But this Microsoft Windows Server 2022 base, EMI ID is there. EMI ID, it is showing. Right? That is, what is the next step? What is the next step? First, you need to choose the instant name. Second step is, we have to choose operating system image. That is, Amazon Mission Image, we have to choose it. Which one you are chosen? You launch and connect the Windows Server. That's why we have to choose the Windows. You have to choose the Windows. Then, the next step is, we have to choose the instant type. Instant type. See, if you are launch and connect, the Windows Server, in any servers, the three things are required. Three things are required. So, the three things are, one is uh, the CPU is required. Second one is RAM capacity is required. And the third one is your hard disk is required. Right. For that, you need to choose the instant type. Instant type. See, in the Mumbai region, the instant types, if you click on that, compare instant type types, if you click on this one, see that. In the Mumbai region, total 513 instant types are there. 513 instant types are there. So, with instant type, what you are selected is, you have to select the CPUs and the RAM capacity. And the RAM capacity. Okay? And the RAM capacity as per your business needs. As per your business requirements. See, there are many families are there. Under the T2 family, there are many instant types are there. T2.nano, T2.micro, T2.small, T2.medium, T2.large, T2.extra-large. 
if we are chosen the t2 dot extra large it is providing four cpus 16 gb ram it is providing if you are chosen t2 dot extra large it's provide eight cpus 32 gb memory it is provided similarly under t3 family there are many instances are there t3 dot nano t3 dot micro t3 dot small t3 dot medium right and so on if we are chosen t3 dot 2 extra large it is providing 8 cpus 32 gb memory it is providing like that total in the mumbai region 513 instant types are there now you are for practicing purpose you have to select t2 dot micro it's a free service it is providing one cpu c at the top cpus are there one cpu is providing and one gb memory it is providing means here it is providing one cpu and uh, one gb ram it is providing one gb ram it is providing next that is i am selecting which instant t2 dot micro t2 dot micro okay see that instant type is t2 dot micro it's a free tier eligible one it's providing one cpu one gb memory okay that is the next step is the next step is you need to select you need to select the instant that is, we have to select the instant type is T2 dot micro. If we are choosing the T2 dot micro, it is providing one CPU, one GB memory it is providing. One GB memory it is providing. Right. That is, uh, we have to select the instant type. Then the next step is to connect your Windows server or to connect your Linux server, you need one key pair is required. If already key pairs are there, you have to select the key pair, no problem at all. There is no key pairs are there, then you have to create the new key pair. That the next step is, you have to create key pair. Key pair, right? So, I am creating the key pair. How we have to create the key pair is, the create new key pair option is there. You can click on create new key pair. You have to give the key pair name. I am given the key pair name is Windows key I am using or Windows server key I am using. Right? Copy this name and paste it in the notepad for filing purpose. Right? Next. Here, we have to choose the key pair type is RSA and private key file format. We have to select PEM file file and then click on create key pair don't choose the ppk file why because it's not uh, decrypted that's why we have to choose the pem file file format click on create key pair key pair is downloaded in my downloads option see that it is downloaded key pair see in my laptop in downloads windows server key is there in which format dot pem file dot pem file see observe that pem file is there okay that is the fourth step is you need to create the key pair the key pair name i am given as windows server key i am given then the next step is network settings the next step is network settings here on network settings here on network settings, click on edit option is there. Click on this one. Here, you don't choose, you have to choose it default VPC. Whatever the virtual private cloud is there, default that we have to choose it as it is. VPC stands for virtual private cloud. In upcoming sessions, that is uh, one module is there, VPC. You have to create your own VPC. Anywhere VPC, you launch and connect the Windows server. You launch and connect the Windows server. You launch and connect the Linux server. Right now, we have to choose the default VPC. As it is, we have to select it. Here in Mumbai region, there are three subnets are there. 
AP South 1E, AP South 1E, AP South 1B, AP South 1C. I am not given any preference. That is as this default I am chosen. That is subnet, no preference. Auto assign public IP, it is enabled. It is enabled. As this default settings I am providing. Next, forever firewall, security group purpose, we have to create security group. We have to give the security group name for our understanding purpose. I am given as Windows Server Security Group. SG I am given. Windows Server SG. Right? Okay. Same I copy and paste it in the description. In the description. Okay. Fine. Fine. Then you are launch and connect the Windows Server. You launch and connect the Windows Server means the type is RDP. Remember. Remember. Type is RDP. Port range is 3389. Port range is 3389. That is, you launch and connect the Windows Server. Type is RDP. Port range is 3389. 33. 89. Okay. Now, source type, if you click on this source type, it is showing the three options. Anywhere, custom, my IP. If I am chosen my IP, only in my laptop, I am connecting the Windows server. If you are chosen the custom, then the administrator has to enter the IP address. For that IP address, the Windows server is connected. If we are chosen anywhere, then it is connecting the anyway. Windows server is connected. Okay. Scroll down. So the type is RDP. Port range is 3389. And source type is anyway. Now you are chosen the T2.micro. Default it is providing the storage is 30 GB storage it is providing. That is 30 GB hard disk it is providing. If you are chosen the Windows server T2.micro. It is providing 1 CPU, 1 GB memory and 30 GB hard disk it is providing. See that, configure storage. That is to install the operating system. It is providing 30 GB. Right? I am not given right now in this session, I am not adding any new volume. I am not given advanced details option. And then click on launch instance option. Launch instance option. See that? the instance will be created successfully. Click on instances option. Now it is created. What is the instant state? Pending. Pending. I am not installing. Remember the point. I am not installing the OS. I launch the instance in the Mumbai region data center, Windows Server. Right? Just wait for one or two minutes. Then the instant state is running. Then I am connecting the Windows server in my laptop. See, now what is the instant state? Running. Running. Okay. Running. Now, if you select this instant, at the bottom, it is showing the details. It is showing instant ID, public IPv4, private IPv4, instant state, right? At the bottom, it is showing the details of the instant, details of the mission, details of your virtual mission, right? If you move this scroll bar also, see that instant name, instant ID, this instant ID, here this instant ID, both of them are same. Here, what is the instant state? What is the instant state? Running. Here, what is the instant state? Running. What is the instant type you are using? T2.micro. T2.micro. See that? What is the instant type? T2.micro. Here also it is providing the details. Status check is initializing. I am not using alarms. Availability zone. I am not given any preference. That's why it is chosen automatically AP South 1A in Mumbai region. For this instant, Public IPv4 DNS, public IPv4 of this instant, 
I am not using elastic IP address in upcoming I have to explain. Right? Monitoring I am not using. That's why it is showing disabled. Security group I am using. Security group name is Windows Server SG. SG. Key pair name I am using Windows Server Key. This is the launch time and date which is represented. Right? Here also it is showing the details. At the bottom also it is showing the details. Now, what I am doing is, I have to copy and paste the public IPv4 in my mission, in my Windows Server. This is the public IPv4. Okay, paste it on the notepad. So, what is the instant state? Running, running. Now, I need the password to connect this instant, this instant in my laptop, in my laptop. So, we have to select the instant. At the top, connect option is there. At the top, connect option is there. See that? You have to click on connect option. You have to click on connect option. Here, session manager tab is there. RDP tab is there. EC2 serial console is there. You have to click on RDP client. RDP client. Now, you are using the Windows operating system. You have the remote desktop connection is there. Remote desktop connection is there. You are using Linux operating system or the Mac operating system. Then you can download remote desktop file. With that one, you can connect your Windows server. You are using the Windows operating system in your laptop. No need to download this remote desktop file. Already it is there remote desktop connection remote desktop connection that's why i am not downloading remote desktop file you have to copy public dns of this mission okay and then you have to copy the username as this administrator copy and paste it okay next already i told that to connect your windows server you need the password you need the password. Right now, you are not having the password. You can click on get password option is there. Click on get password. See, while launching the instant, you are downloading one PEM file format you are downloading. Now, here you need to upload that PEM file format, you are getting the password after decrypting that one. See, upload option is there. Upload private key file. Click on this one. Now, where your PEM file format is there? Here in my downloads option, the PEM file format is there. What is the PEM file format name? Windows Server Key. That's we are to select it. Click on Open. Right? Scroll down. Scroll down. Here at the bottom, Decrypt Password option is there. Click on Decrypt Password. See. You are getting the password. Same as this. Copy and paste it. Here copy option is there. Copy this password. And paste it in the notepad. You are missing the single character. You can't connect the Windows server. You can't connect the Windows server. Okay. So in the notepad. You need to enter. The instant public DNS. Username and the password and the password fine fine now you need to connect this windows server in your laptop in your laptop for that in your laptop you are using the windows operating system remote desktop connection is there see this one see this one remote desktop connection is there Remote desktop connection is there. Click on this one. Here, computer. You have to give the public IPv4 or public DNS. You have to copy this one. Or you may copy and paste the public IPv4. No problem. Anyone. I am copying public DNS. This one. I copy this one. And paste it here. Okay, here connect option is there. 
click on connect option click on connect option this terminology also in pdf i have mentioned okay then you need to enter the username what is the username is there administrator this is you have to type it or copy and paste it here administrator and then you need to enter the password this is the password copy this and paste it here okay the single character password is missing then you are not connecting click on ok click on yes right now you are connecting windows server from mumbai region data center wait for one or two minutes then it is connected mumbai region data center it's updating see see it's updating it is connecting windows server from mumbai region data center i am not installed in my laptop windows os i am launched the instant in mumbai region data center and i am connecting it using remote desktop connection see that see that windows server is connecting wait for one more minute then it is showing at the right side details are showing for this windows server see while launching your window while launching the instant by, by creating the instant you have chosen the instant type is t2.micro t2.micro is nothing bad it is providing one cpu one gb memory it is providing okay one cpu one gb memory it is providing i'll show that one also wait for one minute then it is showing at the right side the screen it is showing the summary see at the top is also it is providing it is providing ec2 13.126.143.0 right ap south 1 dot compute amazon aws dot com see now we observe that we observe that this one this one here it is showing the details that is it is showing the host name instant id private ipv4 public ipv4 to launch the mission you are chosen the instant type is t2.micro it's there yes you are chosen the t2.micro instant type is it is providing one cpu one gb memory see that one gb memory is there right and here network is low to moderate low to moderate now to launch and connect the windows server how much hard disk it is providing default 30 cb see that this PC, 30 GB is there. 30 GB it is there. Right. It is providing the 30 GB. Right. Those are the steps we had to follow how to launch and connect the Windows Server. Windows Server. For that, I am providing pin to pin steps. See that. In my PDF. First, I am given what is EC2. Just uh, two points I am given. EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computing in the AWS. Here, using EC2, we are launch and connect Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, Windows Server, Red Hat Linux, SUSE Linux, right? Open SUSE, Fedora, Federate uh, Core OS, right? Sent OS, those many uh, servers we are connecting. And what are the steps we had to follow? First, we had to choose the reason. Means, you may choose the Mumbai reason, or Singapore reason, or North Virginia reason, anyone. I am choosing Mumbai reason. You have to select which service you have to select it to launch the Windows Server EC2 service. How we have to select the EC2 service? At the top services are there. You have to choose the compute service. Under we have to select the EC2 service. Then the next step is we have to click on launch instances. Then you need to enter the instant name. I am given the instant name is Windows Server Angular. Then 
the next step is you have to choose the operating system image that is amazon mission image we have to choose windows why because you launch and connect the windows server you have to choose the operating system image is windows then the next step is you have to choose the instant type that is t2.micro we have to choose it in mumbai region there are 513 instant types are there as per your business needs as per your business requirement you have to choose the instant type but for your practicing purpose you are for only for practicing purpose you are using you have to choose the free time that is t2.micro we have to choose it it is providing one cpu one gb memory it is providing and then the next step is we have to create a new key pair click on create new key pair option to create the new key pair you have to enter the key pair name to enter the key pair name special characters does not work does not work you have to select the private key file format as pem file format right and then click on create key pair each and every step i am given pin to pin i am given okay those are the steps we have to follow how we have to launch and connect the windows server after completion of your practice you have to terminate the instant now in the beginning i am opening the ec2 dashboard then how many instances are running how many instances are running zero now we observe that how many instances are running one what instant is running windows server what is the instance are there one instant is there how many key pairs are there in any earlier zero now how many key pairs are there one key pair how many security groups are there in earlier one that is the default security group now one more security group is added that is your created security group name that is windows server st okay now in earlier how many volumes are there zero now you have one volume is there that is windows server volume c drive c drive that's already i am showing see this one see this one c drive okay this one that's why volume is 180 is showing volume is 180 is showing okay now after completion of your practice go for the instances under the instances instance option is there you have to select the instant then at the top instant state option is there then here options which are showing see that stop instant is there terminate instant is there if you are chosen stop instant like shutdowning your laptop shutdowning your laptop on next half an hour or one hour or the next day you come and open your aws account then you have to start the instant start the instant whenever i am stopping the instant then automatically it is also closed see that it is also closed whatever you are connecting the server now i am stopping the instant see that see that what is the instant state stopped now if i want to connect if i want to run if i want to start the mission then select the instant instant state start option is enable see that start option is enable now wait for one or two minutes then the instant state is running now what is the present state pending wait for one or two minutes then the instant state is showing running instant state is showing running i want to tell one point that's why i am stopping the instant and then i'll start the instant meanwhile anyone have any queries regarding this session anyone have any queries regarding this session yes mr on premises uh, uh, that is aws means on premises on premises is not there in the on premises environment everything you have to take care that is a network that is in the last session i am saying that that is a delivery models that is i have to compare that there are three types of delivery models are there infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service in on premises environment everything you have to take care 
that I explained the slide is this one I am using. See, the last session I am using. This one. If you are chosen on premises, everything you have to take care. Networking, storage, servers, virtualization, operating system selection, middleweights, and the platform, which platform you are using, and we have to develop the application. Everything you will take care of on premises. If we are using the cloud platforms, cloud delivery models, infrastructure as a service, networking, storage, servers, virtualization. I am given as the different color. This different color, the others are managed. Others are managed is nothing but whoever providing the service, that person is nothing but the provider. So provider will take care of networking, storage, servers, virtualization. See, in this session, in this session, I am launch and connect the Windows Server. I am not thinking about the networking, storage, servers, virtualization. Only I am concentrated the operating system. I am not writing the code. That's why I am not choosing that one also. Application also I am not uh, right now developing. Just I am launch and connect the Windows Server. I am not taking care of uh, the storage, virtualization, servers and the networking. That is nothing but the infrastructure as a service. The examples for the infrastructure as a service is AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Those are the examples which are comes under the infrastructure as a service. If we are choosing platform as a service up to this part, this color, operating system and the middleware, networking, storage, servers, virtualization, operating system, middleware, the others will be managed. Whoever providing the service, that person will take care. The examples for the platform as a service is salesforce.com. If you are choosing the delivery model software as a service, everything will take care by the others. Whoever providing the service, that person will take care. Then you are using only the usage. Sir, what are the examples for the software as a service? Now, you are attending the classes, Zoom classes. That is the example, software as a service. Just you are using the application. You are not concentrating the networking, storage, servers, virtualization, operating system and the application. Just you are using the application, Zoom meeting, go to meeting, ERP system is there. Those are comes under the software as a service. Those are the delivery models. The cloud computing is providing three types of delivery models, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. If we are choosing the on-premises environment, everything we have to take care. But whereas in the three delivery models, level by level, I have to explain. Okay? Anyone? Clear? Clear or doubt? <laughs> Uh, hi, sir. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. If we tire, uh, you can, how many institutions can run in EC2? Wait, I have to close this slide and then I'll move to this one, EC2. Okay, tell me. How many instances can I run in EC2? In EC2, as per your requirements. As per your business needs, you want to run the 10 instances, you can run it. As is there any business. limitation? Uh, there is no limitation. Okay, thank you. But uh, as accordingly, you need to pay the amount also for the time. If you are choosing, just time for uh, explanation purpose, for practice purpose, I am choosing the t2.micro. If you are choosing t2. Uh, extra large, that's why as per your business requirement, we have to choose the instance type. Accordingly, how many CPUs, how many instances you need it, that many instances will be provided. Accordingly, you have to pay the money to the provider source. Okay. There is no free instance. Ah, yes. yes, but you if you are choosing T2.micro, it is providing one, uh, it is providing uh, one CPU, one GB memory it is providing, one year of the free service, Per month, 750 hours, it is providing the free service. T2.micro. Okay. After completing yeah. 750 hours per month, then you are getting the bill. You are getting the bill. That's why I am saying that after completion of your practice, you have to terminate. 
we are for practicing purpose only okay abhi sir terminator stop i tell you i will tell you uh, why because i am not terminating this instant to explain one concept i am not terminating the instant now yes i got this point so if i copy public ipv4 and i paste it here i paste it here see what you observe the same instant previous what is the public ip address you are getting this is the public ip address that is 13.126.143.0 now if i stop the instant i will start the instant then i got the another ip address another ip address means there are two types of ip addresses there are two types of ip addresses one is static ip address second one is dynamic ip address dynamic ip address so if you are using the static ip address it is providing one ip address static ip address it is providing if the dynamic ip address every time you are stop the instant and you are start the instant then the ip address will be changed ip address will be changed if you are using the static ip address you are getting the bill for that you have to use the elastic ip address elastic ip address so why you are getting the bill you are chosen the static ip address means you are holding the elastic you are holding the ip address means you are reserve the ip address in the aws mumbai region that's why the provider has to charge to you if you are using the elastic ip address that's why in every time you are stop the instant and you are starting the instant the ip address will be changed that is the dynamic ip address is provided dynamic ip address is provided right so there are two types of ip addresses are there static ip address and the dynamic ip address okay uh, for that i am taken the termin stop the instant and then i'll stop the instant now if you want to terminate the instant terminate the instant select the instant at the top instant state is there terminate instant option is there click on this terminate option we can click we can click on see that first it is shut downing first it is shut downing after half an hour or one hour then in the mumbai region on the data center completely it is terminated see if we click on at the left side top ec2 dashboard we have to click on that just refresh the browser refresh the browser now we observe that how many instances are running zero zero how many instances are there one instance is there but it is completely terminated in the mumbai region it's taking time half an hour or one hour time then the instant will be terminated completely in the mumbai region and uh, while launch and connect the windows server i am creating one key pair i am creating for the key pairs and the security group the aws will not be charged if you want to delete the key pair also click on key pair and then select the key pair put the tick mark go for actions delete option is there here we have to type it delete click on delete option then the key pair is deleted go for the ec2 dashboard refresh here see key pairs are zero the security groups two security group is there click on this one for security groups the aws will not be charged if you want to delete the security group also select the security group go for action here delete security group option is there click on delete option the security group is also deleted right now we have to check the ec2 dashboard ec2 dashboard just refresh the browser then we observe that the key pairs are zero security group is one that is the default security group is there in earlier one volume is there now that is deleted that is deleted right those are the steps we have to follow how to launch and connect the windows server right anyone have any questions regarding today concept after creation of instant that how many after how many days shall we terminate that instant 
uh, that's uh, as per uh, your requirement as per your requirement you are for practicing purpose after completion of that you can terminate it suppose if you forget that one to terminate the instance, per month 750 hours will be exceeding then you got bill from the aws even though you are using the free tier account the free tier limitations i mentioned in the last session if you are using the ec to compute service 750 hours per month it is providing the free service Okay. If it exceeds the seven fifty hours, then you got the bill from the providers. If I have not exceeded, then sir, you are getting the bill. If it is exceeding, then you are getting the bill. If it is not exceeding, then you are not getting a bill. However, for after completion of practice, you have to terminate it. Remember, in the companies when we join the companies, then the organization or the company never stop the server. If they stop, if they terminate the server, then completely the all the application all the data will be lost that's why in the organization or the companies they never terminate the instant but you are for practicing purpose you have to terminate the instant in the next day we have to open it again we have to follow the step then you are better practicing that's why i'm saying that after completion of every concept you have to terminate it and then if you want to practice again you have to practice it but when we join to the companies the company never terminate the instant Never terminate the servers. Always 24 by 7, 365 days it's working. They are charged. They are paying the amount. They are paying the amount to the providers. As per their business needs, they launch and connect the servers. With the high-end configuration servers, they are launched. They are not purchasing the companies nowadays. All are using the cloud environment. That's why you need to update your cloud technologies. You need to update your skills. Why you learn the AWS is nothing but AWS is number one cloud platform throughout the worldwide and second position it is occupied the Azure. Third position is occupied in the Google Cloud. That's why you need to learn the cloud platforms. Nowadays the companies never purchasing the servers. Not only the servers. Anything they are not purchasing. They are not investing. Whatever the service they are using, they are ready to pay them to the providers. Okay? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone have any questions uh, regarding this? Yeah, quick yeah, quick question. Can you make also the clusters, right? Higher for higher, higher availability? Uh, that is in the next upcoming classes we have to discuss. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh anyone how, okay. Anyone have any questions regarding this concept? Today's session. Anyone have any questions? Then no questions. Then I'll end the session. Uh, I have one. My username and password as well. Username and the password. Yes, the same username and the password we have to use it. That's why you don't uh, uh, forward the password to others. Okay. Forward okay. to others. Right. Okay. Uh, I have one question. It is not related to the concept, but related to this course. Uh, is this course sufficient uh, to take AWS Solutions Architect certification? Yes, yes. Uh, accordingly, I am providing the content. I am framing the content. Whatever at the associate level, it is. Uh, uh, they are asking the questions. They are uh, for our explanation questions and answers. I are the providing at the ending of the training. Okay. Uh, okay. The practice every day. I am uh, providing with hands on only, because the hands on is very important while joining the companies. They never ask the question and answers. They are asking only the hands-on experience only. You are doing the capability, then you are there in the... Otherwise, your job will be terminated. That's why I am given much weightage for the hands-on sessions only. Not the theory. Okay? Skilled persons, they are recruited and they are doing the jobs well. They are getting the more amount also. Okay, but I am providing at the screenshots also I am providing at the end of what it is of the train. Okay. okay. Also one more question. Uh, is this uh, course more specific on the DevOps side or is it okay that a developer takes uh, uh, this if, course? If you want to learn the DevOps tools, then you can join the DevOps course also. This okay. is a, already I mentioned that in the content also, that is what concept I have to cover. 
you have to check it the content also right okay okay after completion of your aws this associate level then you try to join the devops course then you can easily understanding it otherwise it is a difficult to understand the devops course right now okay okay hello uh, tell me hello ha uh, chapan tell me yes uh, actually i have one question okay uh, the three days is a demo session right so that session will be uh, repeated in the actual batch because today middle i will i have joined the session okay you have Yesterday the recording session, videos sir you have the recording videos sir there available videos durga soft youtube channel you have the recording videos sir there right okay so i have to refer only recorded video for the this session right yes yes it after completion of demo sessions i have to continue the concepts i'll okay. continue okay okay sir can you please share that link which link uh demo session link the demo sessions are there in the durga soft youtube channel this one uh, it is there wait uh, that is in the playlist yes here is there here are some critical here it is there okay it is there if you want this i'll shade this one to the chart box thank you sir okay then anyone have any questions regarding this regarding this if no questions i'll end the session tomorrow we'll meet the same time okay thank you thank you thank you